Happy Friday, guys. Trust me, I know you're watching this on a Monday. But you can relive Friday through us. First thing on the agenda, follow the Life at Complex Instagram. You can find behind the scenes bonus footage there. And number two, I'm heading to a meeting to talk to Yulia from the art department about the show. Yes, Life at Complex is a show. It's a reality show. Um, we are gonna update the look of your show a little bit. <coughs> yeah, if some of you guys have noticed, I started using a different style font. When I edit these things, I'm not really thinking about stylistically. I just want to get the info out, but that's what Yulia is here for. She's here to pretty up the show. Alright, so right now we are literally trying to correct the dates, I guess? Close enough. Alright. We're here. Okay. Well, you guys get the gist of this meeting. We're just trying to pretty it up for you guys. People think you're in a Taco Bell commercial. Are you? No, I'm not in the Taco Bell commercial. First off, it's not me. Taco Bells, you need to like feed our whole entire office because I've been doing too much PR work for you guys. It's crazy. All right, well, uh, it's confirmed. Mike's not in the Taco Bell commercial. What is Nina doing? Yo, is she doing a boomerang? Dude, I hope she knows that's not how it works. So weird. Uh, that's diabetes in a bag, look, though. It's not all for me. <laughs> all right, I share it with everybody here. You know what I mean? I, I believe that if you have gummies on you, you know what I mean? Like, you can't have a bad day. You can't really have a bad day. But you already know what time it is, though. Oh, come on, man. It's lunch time. <laughs> You guys know what time it is. It's Q&A time. You left some questions and I'm gonna answer them right now. Oh, and before I get started, Emily Oberg is not in the office today, so if you had questions for her, I apologize. Can't answer them. Um, I'll try to get her on Monday. Okay, let's begin. Tony, what's your favorite thing about working at Complex? Uh, I like the freedom that they give my creativity. There's no shackles. They're very encouraging on, on just making dope things. What do your coworkers think of the vlogs? Brings everybody from different departments together. It's kind of our own like inside joke, but not really because the rest of the world knows. It's letting it other people into our inside jokes. What are the hours like at Complex? Well, I can't speak for everyone, but I can tell you guys my hours. I come into work at 9.30 and I don't leave until 95% of the vlog is done editing. So whether it be staying to seven or eight o'clock, I will stay. And then I'll take it home and do like final touches. If I'm lucky enough, I'll finish the vlog by 6 p.m. What program do you and Mike use for memes? Well, Mike uses Photoshop. He's starting to get into After Effects. I also use Photoshop, but I mainly use Adobe After Effects. What percentage of your salary do you spend on clothes and sneakers? It's 98%, bro. 2% to, to do other things. 98% to get fleet. What's the best thing you have worked on at Complex? Oh, I really liked a project that I did with Pigeons and Planes last year where we talked to um, a lot of different celebrities about what their first memory of hip hop was. And we got like um, Vin Diesel and uh, like CeeLo Green and, but then also like kind of random like um, Bella Thorne, who's like an MTV star and stuff. And they just like all sharing their original ideas and then built it into this like very beautiful Parallax feature. So you can go to Pigeons and Planes and find that. Ask Speedy what his top five hoop shoes are. Number one, uh, Adidas Pro Models, throwbacks. Two, Starberries. I was heavy in the Starberry game, um, which is like 15 cats a pop. Three, uh, LeBron Soldier Force. Four, LeBron Nines. And number five, your script. LeBron script. Soldier 6. Do you need a degree to work here? It's, it's probably encouraged to have a degree, but at the same time, depending on what you're doing, you know, you could, have, you could be extremely skilled and talented in something and not have a degree, which would translate well into whatever you're working on. If you had to wear one sneaker for the rest of your life, what would it be? Royal Air Jordan 1. It's comfortable, timeless design. In the rare case that I had to play basketball on it, which I, which I love playing basketball, and it was the only sneaker I had. Technically, I could play basketball on it. Uh, looks good with everything. 
can even wear it with the suit. What music are you guys currently listening to? I can't what? really speak for the whole music team, but I'm listening to a lot of Big Sean. On the low, I can say the next album is going to be very fire. You won't be disappointed. It's a band called Wet. Very fire. And still, you know, Jay-Z all day, every day. Please ask Jinx or Speedy what they studied in college. Um, yo, I went to college um, with aspirations to be an engineer. So it was like uh, physical science and I want to say, if I can remember, chemical engineering. And I was rocking with like computer science too, like coding. And hoes. It's and hoes apparently, yeah. Um, <laughs> but then I switched halfway through because um, while I like math and science, it wasn't my twist. And I ended up doing uh, marketing and advertising just because I wanted to create. Like I wanted to be... Um, like Steve Stout, you know, and just like make dope brand, dope ads and shit like that, so. Question for Maggie, what's your favorite lunch spot? My favorite lunch spot is Diggin. Because you just get bang for your buck. Like you go in, you get chicken, rice, like two vegetables, sides, whatever, and you get it all in this big bowl for $10. And half the time I can barely finish the bowl, so. It's really good food. What are your two cents on the Soldier Boy apology? I mean, he apologized, but then he took it back. They're gonna fight now on pay per view. So I don't know, man. I think he did that for his mom, you know what I'm saying? But I think Soldier Boy is gonna get knocked out. How do you obtain a good work environment? I think it's important to have conversation flowing. I think it's important to do a lot of work, but I also think talking about topics that everyone's interested in that we get paid to report on and keeping the ideas flowing. I think the newsroom should never be pin drop quiet. Ask Joe how he met Ronnie Fi. I think 2006 at this point, yeah. Over like 10 years, he was doing his first pack with ASICS. I was an intern at Complex at the time working under Bradley Carbone and Ronnie was trying to get his ASICS in the magazine and I kind of was calling him product at that time and um, for the magazine and I met Ronnie during that time before Kith, it was his first collaboration for uh, David Z, and yeah, we've been really good friends ever since. All right, that's it for the Q&A. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any more questions, just feel free to ask them. Obviously, legit questions, no more thirsty questions. All right, as approaching the end of the day, Jared, do me a favor. It's good. Close out the vlog by giving the people some life advice. So one time, Cuddy told me to always be yourself and never change. The people like you for who you are. That's what it's supposed to be, but if they don't, then so be it. Ooh, dropping dimes. Okay. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.